tip is from our Build Your CQ series. Today I'm going to show you a few ways to save time using the latest release of Meco Graphics. In this first tip, I'm going to show you a few ways to use the data editor to save time. If I double click on this Meco chart to open the data editor, you can see that the data editor is floating in the middle of the screen over the chart. So it makes it difficult for me to work in the data and see the impact of the data changes on my chart. So here's a couple of things that you can do to change that. First thing you can do is drag the data editor to a different location. In this case, I'm choosing the left-hand side of the chart and resize it so that you can see the data editor and the chart at the same time. And when I close the data editor and reopen it, it remains in the location where I placed it. Another thing that you can do is dock the data editor. So in this case, if I drag the data editor either to the bottom or top of the screen, it automatically docks in that location and remains there when I close the data editor down and reopen it. In this next tip, I'm going to show you how to use the zoom functionality to select and edit a small series. You can see in this stack bar chart that my second series is quite small. So it's difficult for me to click on that series to format it, and it's also difficult for me to select that label if I'd like to edit it. So let me show you what you can do using Zoom. So if I open the chart, and I go to the Edit Chart ribbon, I can select a zoom level for this chart. So I'm going to select 200%. That allows me to zoom in on my chart and easily select the series to recolor or to select that label to edit, or in this case, I'm going to annotate it. In this last tip, I'd like to show you how to quickly format all of the numbers on your chart. I can select the numbers icon in the edit chart ribbon, and it will automatically take me to the format chart task pane open to the values tab. The first thing I'd like to do is to scale the values on my y-axis. And I can do that by scrolling down to data scale and choosing, in this case, I'd like to go from millions to billions in my chart without altering my underlying data. So I choose a data scale of three. Now I can go up and format my values. I'm going to use multi-select. You hold the control key down and choose bar totals and y-axis. And I'd like to make both of those dollar sign billions, and my two y-axis is earnings per share, so let's make that just dollar signs. And my data row, in this case, is net margin, so I'd like to show that as a percentage. That's how you can quickly format the numbers on your chart in one location. Thank you for watching this video tip. For more tips and tricks, visit our Build Your CQ blog on the Meco Graphics website.